the creatures speak these scarabums is delicious. Libra, welcome to your live tarot reading. Abracadabra, baby. Tonight we're doing the classic. You read says them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your baby, my boo boo. Whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage, snake in the grass. I woo, I'm kind of like, hmm. There's something going on underneath the surface, Libra. We assume some kind of a rupture separation between you and your boo boo in the Jewish system readings. <laughs> Someone's a grumpy little baby, I think. All right, let's see. And this is your November energy, so let's see what is coming in for Libra. Something rising in Venus. I'm a baby. Mmm. Mmm, Libra. Someone's confused. Someone's confusing you, and they've been confusing you for a long time. Right now, you're single, boo boo. You're sparkly, you're gorgeous, you're moisturized, baby. Keep it up, the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, some of you are experiencing a situation where someone left your life, or, you know, a situation ended, or, you know, someone ghosted, deleted themselves from the database, and you're like, mm, you know what? Like, I feel better now. <laughs> like, there's a relief to it. You, your money could be um, doing really well. You could be experiencing. There's like an uptick in your life ever since uh, this rupture separation happened. Um, the person that you're dealing with is watching you and waiting. Um, this is the like, strength, you know, like, I'm going to conquer the Libra. You got strong Leo energy again in, in your readings. You get a lot of Leo energy in your readings. Since the beginning of the channel, Libra has had Leo in their readings. Mm, baby, <laughs> they're like... I still want to conquer this. This is like grumpy little baby energy, you know? It's someone who's like, how could you do this to me, Libra? And you're like, well, you did this to yourself. Someone sees you moving on, actually. You could be moving on with a new person, baby. You could be dating. You could be doing scrumptious things. I think this person also suspects that a friend of yours or people in your vicinity are more to you than just friends. You know, they're like watching your Instagram. And they're like, oh, that. <laughs> that one, you know, that's a suspicious one. They're like, how could you? How could you, Libra? I, you know, they have Leo energy around them. It doesn't have to be like, you know, necessarily the, their sun, moon, or rising. They have like some kind of an aura of, you know, someone who feels like they should be, you know, because Leo commands attention. So it's like, well, I should be the center of attention. How come things ended with us? How come we have a rift? How come we're in a separation? And Libra seems to be doing fine. And they honestly think whether you, you are or not, this person believes you have moved on from them. But I see you vibing with yourself you know you might be dating you might be meeting new boo-boos but i think you're keeping your energy to yourself because you're enjoying your time alone hmm let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so also libra welcome to blue angel love tarot my baby give your mommy a kiss mm, i love you so much libra it is Scorpio season, your mommy's season. So I have a special offer for anyone who has Scorpio uh, in their chart and their sun, moon, rising, um, Venus, or Mars. If it's a placement that you feel is prominently affecting your love life, uh, your reading is 20% off. If you're interested in a personal tarot reading, also coaching is 30% off for everybody. And when it comes to my spell work, all the information is also in the description box below. Leave your mind. So, I might do a live for my birthday. We'll see. I feel like I want to hang out with my babies for my birthday. All right, the Prince of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and uh, the Moon in the past. Somebody was selling porky pies. Yeah, this person wasn't. But it's this watcher energy. Look, this person has two cards. You know, look at these two cards. This person's watching you so intently. If it was a new energy, a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder, baby recently and you're like what the heck happened it is wowzers it's like it is someone who just wanted to have something with you so desperately and they i think like from the beginning when you met them you felt this person like looking at you like oh like <laughs> crazy eyes you know like i love crazy eyes and you're like why are you looking at me like that and this person was like well it's because you're scrumptious libra because you are a baby you are you know venus you are scrumptiousness and this person was like well <laughs> It almost made them angry. I don't know. Like, they were so triggered by your beauty, handsomeness, scrumptious, you know, whatever was going on here. They were like, how is this possible? Does this Libra exist? However, the problem is, whether you know it or not, and I do see porcupines, this person was in a different situation at the time. And, you know, this is a wife, the queen of pentacles, wife, husband, anyone in between genders, arbitrary. But, baby, you know, this is someone who was like, yeah, I'm divorced, but they weren't, you know? Like, this is someone who... Yeah, you know, I'm in. I'm separated from my spouse, and we live in we live in separate separate apartments. They're like, you know, living in their 
ex-wife's basement kind of thing when they're all in the entrance, separate entrance. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, they weren't exactly clear on the status of a relationship that was ending their life. And there's, uh, let me pull another card on this. But Libra, you felt it. You got the moon here. You're like, this isn't right. There's something not right about this situation. And this person is like, well, how could you reject my love? I have so much to offer. But really, they had so little because they're not really available. Not in the legal sense, not in the spiritual, energetic sense. You know, they have unfinished business with a former person. I see specifically a marriage. Uh, all right, let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is this? What is that? <laughs> Mm, but yeah, this is all about like, yeah, I left or like this person left me. They could have even lied about how a relationship ended. I have five of pentacles, how a relationship ended in the past with them. It, again, like acrimonious divorce or like, you know, they're claiming the spouse is like doing them a bit bill, but in fact, they're the ones doing the bit bill. You know, it's kind of like. There's also, this person also wishes they had met you but before they got married. Um, you know, it's kind of like, if only I'd met you like 10 years ago, Libra, literally. The Ten of Swords, you know, I, I know this card is so scary. I keep, when we use this, I it keeps coming up in, in, in the reads. I don't know, it's a little bit boo, scary bit boo, but you know, this bit boo is in a lot of pain. This person has a lot of pain, a lot of regrets in their life in general. So if you want to know why someone's behavior was weird, why you felt like they were, uh, were not straightforward with you, and they were like, you know, going under the surface, it's because they were hiding the fact that they did not yet leave uh, fully the situation they were in beforehand. And if it was an established connection, my baby, let's see what the douche flute did. Again, this is someone who's like, their love is immature, it's selfish, it is, you know, uh, the, the, you know, the medicine is the poison, the poison is the medicine, and the medicine is the love, but really, mm, there's too much poison in the medicine, you know what I mean? It's someone who was always, like, angry, or, like, always looking at you, like, Libra, how come you're so scrumptious? Why are other people looking at you? You know, watch your energy. How come I'm not the main character? This is always the, uh, mm, the question, this is always the issue. Their mind is blown. Like, constantly, their mind is blown. Like, how come Libra was the main character in this relationship? I'm the main character. Uh, between you, status. So, um, the issue with status here, this is someone who didn't like that you <clears throat> have this aura and command the status of scrumptiousness in the marriage. It is also an extra, quite possibly an extramarital affair here, uh, covered by the moon. Let me pull another card just to make sure. Also, Libra never assume cheating unless you have the receipts. As I always say this, I am just a random bimbo on the internet. All right, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. And everything anyone sells on the internet with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? It is a collective energy. If you have the receipts, you know what I'm talking about. And it's someone cheated with another married person or with another person in a relationship. Yeah, the devil. There's something some kind of underhanded hanky panky you know paints on fire situation going on desires going in the wrong ways this person you know why they why they did that boo -boo? because they felt like you were the main character and they wanted to show themselves that they're the main character and you know this is why a lot of boo-boos cheat they feel underappreciated they want to show themselves you know i am i am the one and all this and now deep regrets are setting in it wasn't really worth it and they know they had when they had you, they were the luckiest little bit in the world. But they didn't appreciate, I mean, they did appreciate it, but they wanted to be appreciated more at the same time. You know, they felt abandoned by you, Libra. You're going to have a lot of things going on in your career, life as well. And this person felt neglected, like they wanted more attention. The Queen of Cups and their intentions, baby. So, I mean, love, you know, they want to give you that mm, chalice of love in this time. They don't want it to be poisoned, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> seven of Cups, they're going to keep on confusing you, though. Um, for the next seven hours, seven days, seven weeks, the person is going to keep on confusing you. If you're expecting an apology, uh, listen, I don't know, but they're going to manifest themselves into your life when you least expect it. Could be uh, coming in mm, the new year. At the turning of the seasons, at the turning of the year, this person could just show up because they are watching someone who's watching very intently <clears throat> because you're definitely not over it. The Queen of Swords, they know you're over them, but they can't stand it. So they're going to materialize, but they may not give you an apology. It may be like, oh, Libra, I'm sorry you felt hurt that like I lied to you about, about a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
but you know your story best, baby. What you got to do with this douche flu, douche flu toss, anyone in between? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, who is this douche flu, douche flu toss in your life? Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button, baby. Leave me a little comment because it really helps me out with the AI overlords at YouTube. I'll see you next time. My baby, stay spikely, stay creature, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect. Hmm.